Hey everyone, it's Angry Turtle and another cyberpunk video. This time I want to give you some perspective how this game looked like late game and in particularly the focus will be on the bad side of the game. This does not change my early review, this remains unchanged. I still enjoy the game, but there is a couple things that you should be aware about if you plan to buy this game. If you already bought this game, then yeah, it's probably too late. But now to the point. And no, I will not start with 8 megabytes cap for a safe size. That's important, but not the most important. Yeah, I have a couple different issues with this game I want to mention and especially because of what was advertised by CD Projekt Red, like hundreds of hours of gameplay, replayability and stuff like that. Therefore, I want to show you a couple things. And first we start with a combat and game balance. It's important part for me. If you see my settings, I do play on very hard. Unfortunately, in this game, very hard doesn't mean anything. It's not a challenge. It seems like very easy, mainly because all the specs, all the development tree, as well as equipment was never balanced. It's clear for me now after I tried couple builds, not only this one that I'm using at this moment, uh, it's a net runner that I posted the build as well, but that's beside the point. The point is whatever you choose, if you choose a correct perks, and it's not even hard, if you choose the perks that boost your particular build, you will be overpowered very quickly. For me, it's very clear that whoever did this, it was a draft. It is a draft, like a structure that's supposed to be tested and then values supposed to be assigned. But clearly there was no time and the draft was implemented as a final version of the game. And let me just quickly demonstrate. I will not do much, but in here, okay. I'm in the highest difficulty area on the map. That's the center of the map. And next to me is like side job, assault in progress when you really just need to get a couple bad guys. The danger is moderate. I play on very hard. I cannot find anything above moderate at this point. And I'm level 39. I'm still 11 levels from maxing out. And my power didn't change from like level 22. I had all the damage related stuff at level 22. When I posted my build, that's about this time. I remain overpowered all the time. Let me demonstrate. Okay, we can see those uh, bad guys over there. And what I need to do, I just need to click one button and wait a second. And wait a second. The guys are getting damaged. I can help if I want to speed up the process and use another spell skill, quick hack. And it's going faster now. Now I use it again if needed. I could buff my damage more if I would use any decent gear, but I don't have it this moment. And it's almost done. As you can see, I did the job. I think there is one straggler over there. Yeah, that's not a problem. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm so overpowered. Apart from that, I can actually clear entire building without even going into it. And yes, if you talk about different builds, uh, it's very similar situation. If you go for run and gun, maybe in the future I will post my run and gun build. It's the same. You just run onto them. They cannot do anything to you and you can take all of them down very easily. And that's what I'm talking about. That's really take away your ability to try different powerful builds and go for a challenge and beating the game on very hard because it basically doesn't mean anything. Whatever your build will be, whatever you will spec into first, if you choose to play on very hard, you will have a challenge for maybe first three hours when you're mainly doing the tutorial stuff and before you have any gear and any perks to actually boost your build. After that, it goes into very easy mode, just straight like that. About this game file issue. If you do not know about it yet, there is a hard cap of eight megabytes for your save file size. 
And I'm at this moment at around six megabytes and this character have around 60 hours of gameplay into it, less than 60. And I started from one and half megabyte save file. Therefore, it's going up quite quickly because I was holding a lot and I stopped for last couple of days. I stopped holding. I'm only picking up purple stuff and above. I avoid picking up everything. I never exploited in this game. Exploit will rapidly increase the save size file. Therefore, don't do it if you want to play at all. Therefore, that's mean if you want to play and actually use the tools that are in the game instead of ignoring everything, not picking up everything, not crafting anything, you are hard capped at something between 80 and 100 hours. After that, your save file will be corrupted and there will be nothing you can do. And first, I wasn't really worried about this too much as I was like, yeah, that's a bug, like a lot of different bugs will be probably quickly fixed and it will be fine. But no, look at this official response about the problem that's on the gog.com on the help size as you can see technical issues game specific troubleshooting and that's the official response unfortunately the safe is damaged and can't be recovered please use an older save file to continue playing and try to keep a lower amount of items and crafting materials if you have used the item duplication glitch please load a save file not affected by it the save file size limit might be increased in one of the future patches. Might be increased. They didn't acknowledge that it's a bug. It's a future. But the corrupted files will remain that way. Therefore, that's even bigger boomer because it is not a bug. It was intended to be 8 megabytes and you should fit into it. You shouldn't play more. In another thread, they said that you should just do more of the playthroughs instead of one very long play it again with something else but i have an issue with that because my next point what i don't like about this game is exactly replayability and my problem with that is there is no true replayability as i said in my initial review maximum you can do is two playthroughs the first short one if you want to rush the story and then another one long one and some goofy bugs like those people going back and forth. That, that doesn't bother me, but you can see it in here. Now, why I'm saying there is no true replayability? Let me put it in other words. Did you ever watch a movie? That's good. The story is nice, but there is no special effects like worth watching again. It's just mainly about the story. How many times do you watch it? Once? Twice? Three times and more? And what if this movie is like Freelogy? 10 hours in total, how many times do you watch it? If you answer it three times and more, then yeah, there is no problem with re replayability in this game for you, as you can experience the same story a couple times. But now let's go back to the story, the choices, and how the story is actually scripted. Let me show you some examples. And here you have a perfect example how most of the choices in this game works you can see them in here that's a screenshot from my live stream you can choose that you will switch the seats or you can choose that you will switch the seats and the story will progress but you'll think okay but i will outsmart the game and i will go and do my choice and sit on the other side first then she will not need to ask me to switch the seats no you cannot do that you need to take a driver's seat and then you need to agree that you will move to the other seat. And you have two options for that. That are the choices you are doing in this game. But that's not what I mean by the game being scripted. That's totally different. Uh, how the main story is scripted, I will show you another perfect example uh, from the live stream as well. Here we have a situation that I was asked to shoot down those drones and we are riding a car. Uh, let's do not spoil the story too much, but I was tasked with shooting those drones. And I will let you see this part and that I will keep commenting. Do it better! Will they kill us? Think! Either you focus or they fuck us! How much time can I wait? Will they be like sudden game over? Oh 
they don't seem to do anything so far. Is their ride going? The drones are not doing anything yet. Uh, are we going in the circle until I kill the drones? <laughs> Good one! Good one, CD Project Red! And that's on very hard! Chris, what's the difference on easy? <laughs> okay, I, I guess I need to shoot them. Yep. Good Done. And that's it, exactly. That's what I mean by story being scripted. There is actually very little you can do to affect the story. I mean, very ending have some options that you can affect, but most of the game, you have absolutely nothing to affect there. And uh, there's one more thing. Apart from the fact that there is very little in the story that you can affect, there is something worse affecting your ability to play it again. Because even if you accept that most of the stuff will follow the same route, there is no good option to skip cutscenes most of them you need to watch again, and trust me, there is a lot of those. If you play again, you will notice how many cutscenes is in there that you cannot skip. And the portion when you can skip, it's really not a true skip, because every time the sentence is over, you need to acknowledge your sentence even if there is no choice. Even if there is just one sentence you need to say, you need to click a button and continue skipping, then there is no way Personally, I will be able to play this game third time. First time I rush it, I'm playing it second time, and I'm getting already annoyed in couple parts when there is a long cutscene, I cannot do anything about it, and I still need to sit in front of the monitor waiting when I need to press a button to confirm my sentence. That's not the replayability that was advertised. Therefore, to summarize, I still like the game. I just realized there is a cap. I have 100 to 120 hours I can get out of this game. After that, if I choose so, I can still do guides for you, but there will be nothing left for me. I will have everything done and there is no way I can keep playing. And even if I will choose that I want to keep playing, save file will limit me and I will have no patience to start over. Although the graphics are amazing and I will probably from time to time just log in to walk in the night city as the graphics are great. If you have a PC that can handle it, of course. The other problem I personally do not experience is the fact that this game is not really very good with consoles. It's not really running well, but I didn't experience it myself. But Facts are speaking for themselves. If it was pulled from the PlayStation Store, that there was a problem. They will not do it for no reason. And there you go. That's a little bit of the negative side of Cyberpunk. I'm not hating on the game, to be clear. You can really enjoy the first 60 or 80 hours if you choose to play it. And it will be great. If you follow with what the game wants you to do, you have this illusion that you are doing something and you have choices. Maybe those are not real and most stuff is scripted, but you cannot see it so much at the first playthrough. Uh, just another one and another one, if you choose to do so, you will see how very little choices you actually have. If you didn't watch my first early review after 40 hours I was playing this game, please check it out. You will have my opinion about good sides of Cyberpunk. Here I wanted to focus on what everyone was asking me about. What's bad about Cyberpunk and what you should know if you want to make your decision then here you go that's what hit me from the wrong side of the cyberpunk 2077 it still do not undermine the good side and i think for me it's still worth to buy it just to have this 80 to 120 hours experience in the game it's worth for me but it can be opposite true for you therefore here you go that's my opinion and now as always Thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.